This is Ace Adity. It's a smaller filament company that some of you may have never heard of. But spoilers, they're fantastic. What's going on everybody? I'm just G and welcome back. Ace Adity sent me over a spool of their new PLA Plus. Now, all opinions are my own. No money has exchanged hands. They just sent me a spool to test and review. So I'm gonna be testing its build plate adhesion, tensile strength, stringing, and overhang ability. All the things you need to know when you're using PLA. The end goal for today is to see if it's really good or not. So after unboxing it, one of the things that stand out to me was the packaging because it comes with a, a resealable bag. Not a lot of companies, especially big companies, come with a resealable bag. So we're starting off strong with a good plus right there. With most packages, they're gonna come with a description of what it is. This it says PLA plus. It is 1.75 millimeters. Net weight is one kilo. That's the normal size of a spool. The print temperature says from 190 to 210 degrees Celsius. That's super important because some printers are different. Bed temperature, it says 30 to 60 Celsius. I usually run 60 Celsius because PLA needs a, needs a little bit more heat to stick. Printing speeds, wow. This says 30 to 250 millimeters a second. So all you high speed printers out there, this will be able to handle it no problem. <sighs> new smell. It's not a new car smell though, it's more like a plastic smell. They gave me this bright red. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but this is bright red, bright. It also comes with a recycled cardboard roll. I see a lot more brands coming out with these rolls, which is good for the environment. So let's go get this thing printed up. Okay, so before we can even get into any serious testing, we have to do something first. And that is to test the right temperature for this filament. So what I did was print off one of these little doodads. This is called a temperature tower. So on a temperature tower, the temperature changes by each layer as it goes up by five degrees. And inside, you can see the layer of stringing that goes along as the temperature rule well, in this case decreases. I print off one of these and that allows me to see what temperature is best suited for this particular filament. I'm super glad that I did this temperature test because normally I print my PLA plus at 210 degrees. Doing this test, I know now I have to print this at 205. Just like the temperature tower, I print off another tower. This one is a retraction tower. Just like the other one, the temperature tower, as the level goes up, it changes the retraction by millimeters. We have one millimeter at the bottom and it goes all the way up to five. If we look at our test, we can see that one, two, and three are pretty good. Four and five, we're gonna start getting some more stringing. I'll leave a link to all of these tests that I'm doing down in the description so you can print them out yourself. After I knocked out those two tests, I know exactly what temperature I need to print my test at and I know exactly what millimeter retractions I need to print. Got all that knocked out of the way. The first thing I went ahead and printed that's normal is a Benchy. Everybody prints these off when they first get their printer, so we all know what they're supposed to look like. This Benchy came out so well. It came out not a lot of stringing, maybe one little line right here in the middle, and the print came out so smooth. I don't know if you ever guys ever printed one of these, this is a uh, X, Y, Z cube. So it's gonna show you your X, Y, and Z axis. Uh, and it's gonna give you a great look at your layers. You guys ever print out one of these? This is an articulating octopus. It's so cool because the legs move and it articulates. I printed it like this. No supports, no brim. I printed this with a skirt. It came out great. There was a little bit more dimpling on the head of the octopus. But again, I don't think that's the filament fault. I'm gonna go to our last our last print right here. So I just saw this on Thingiverse. I'm also gonna leave a link to this on the, at the bottom. It does everything. So if you wanna test out your filament, it takes about four hours to print one of these. I have a big nozzle. I have a 0.6 millimeter nozzle. So it doesn't do a lot of the wordings. So the wording on there isn't that well, but everything else that I really wanted to see tested is on here. If we look at the overhangs, this goes up to 80 degrees 
on the top. So 80 degree support overhang. It does really great with overhangs. If we look at the bottom, it's gorgeous. Let's see if I get it to focus. That's the supports for the bottom. It's gorgeous. So the build plate adhesion works really well. So in summary, this filament was beyond amazing and it was way above what I expected this filament to be. It hangs in there with your sun lose. It's gonna hang in there with your poly makers and all your other big name brands. So don't sleep on these small brands. If you guys are looking for an inexpensive filament that you can get because your budget can't handle those bigger brands, this filament, Ace Adity, is gonna be your best bet. It comes in around $17 USD and you can get it on Amazon. Other big brands for a PLA Plus, you're seriously looking at 20 to $23. I saw a brand ridiculous that was offering a, a PLA Plus for $30. No, no, Crazy. no. Crazy, no. I'm not paying $30 for no PLA Plus. I'm just saying. So $16.99, Amazon, you can get a really good filament. It's really good. And I'm sorry if you keep hearing this noise. I like this articulating this. So this is my first real review of filament or basically any product. How did I do? How would you guys like me to test these products in the future? What did I miss? What type of test would you like me to try? Leave it down in the comments. Next week, I also have a product that I'm gonna review, so you stay tuned for that. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That way other people can see this video as well. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell notification so you guys can see my next review. And if you guys wanna see the update video of my War Machine build, go ahead and click on the video right here. Everybody have a great rest of your day. God bless you. Peace out. Yeah.